Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at uh, 618-235-6959. This is a second video. Um, this is kind of a, a European kind of uh, French style phone. Um, it was made by the Paramount Electronics Company, but it's from China, I believe. And um, I showed earlier uh, in the first checkout video that the dial, the numbers on the dial were actually on the phone upside down. So somebody was um, basically searching for a problem. And this kind of gives you a little look of what this telephone looks like on the inside. I'll kind of show you that real quick. Anyway, we took the telephone apart. I'm troubleshooting it. And uh, basically what it comes down to is we have the dial um, case and, and the dial board here. And there's quite a few reasons why uh, 1, 2, and 3 wouldn't work on a keypad. But uh, basically when I took this apart, um, this this had a piece of hot glue on it, but it it uh, only covered a little bit of it, and so I peeled that off. We're going to get rid of that. What I found, and this may explain the problem, what I found was a wire that was broken. Now, I don't know if the phone was dropped or if the phone was actually sold this way new and it was, uh, it was uh, faulty or... You know, it just doesn't make any sense why somebody was in this phone and the dial was upside down because if they would have been looking for the problem, they would have probably seen this wire off of the keyboard. And so that doesn't make any sense why they wouldn't just go ahead and repair it unless they couldn't get it apart all the way and uh, they weren't sure what to do or something to that nature. But um, basically... I could put this wire back together again, and that does not mean that 1, 2, and 3 will work. It's probably the ground, the independent ground uh, for the IC chip for uh, dialing 1, 2, and 3. And I'm going to go ahead and put that back together again real quick. And uh, we're going to, I'm going to set the video down. I'm going to go ahead and do some work on this telephone here real quick. Get rid of some of these pieces. And uh, what we want to do is we want to get the solder. Off this board here. And open up that, uh, the hole for the wire. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that my wire is uh, all the little strands are together. Let's go ahead and solder that real quick. I like to solder them so they don't they don't get away from you. When you're trying to fish them through the hole here. Now these wires are very, very thin, so that could explain why that broke. It could have been the phone could have been dropped, but you would think that if they got into the phone and they looked at the um, at this board, they would have seen that wire loose. I'm just kind of checking to see if any of the other connections are, are bad. And uh, so basically what we're going to do now is uh, I'm going to go ahead and plug the phone in. And I'm going to see if we have one, two... Looks like uh, 
when we checked this originally out, uh, we thought there was just a redial, but uh, the, the center of this plate, this button, and some phones have this, the, like the top would be uh, flash and, and the bottom would be uh, redial. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to plug this into the analyzer. And I want to see if we can't get... Uh, and that might be why I don't seem to be getting a connection here. It, it just 
you know, if somebody took this keypad apart and they seen that wire broke, it, it's beyond me why they wouldn't just put the thing back on unless they couldn't solder or, um, you know, it's, it's just hard to say. Uh, but you would think that if they went into it that they would take the time to repair it. Maybe they couldn't get it apart because, uh, you know, sometimes things get in their way and they can't take it apart all the way or they couldn't get to it. Because at first when you have the shell here um, of the keypad on it, it looks like you can't get down in to get to the screws to put your board back on. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to call this the final checkout video of this telephone because basically what's going to happen is uh, I'm going to let this hot glue dry uh, but then I'm going to take the board off again and I'm going to clean the keypad and the dial pad but at this point um, everything looks good and I think that glue is held enough now to where I can do some more dialing. I'm going to dial a 1, a 2, a 3, a 3 again, a 2, a 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0, pound, star, 1, 2, 3, star, 1, 2, 3, and back to 2. I'm going to hang the telephone up bring back dial tone and hit redial and this telephone does not seem to have a flash in the center some do some don't that could be a manufacturing thing on that board where they were going to set it up with a flash but they only set it up with a redial one two three one two three star one two three back to two I'm gonna hang the phone up hit redial there you go uh, so it seems that that's all that was uh, the problem with this telephone and um, we're gonna do a few things to it I might do a little resoldering on it but basically I'm gonna um, call this uh, the final video because I do believe the uh, telephone is repaired. I'm going to do some final checks and uh, we'll kind of go from there. But what I think I might do before I end the video is I'm going to go ahead and make sure I'm in a regular line and I'm going to make sure that uh, I'm going to call a, a time and temp number and just so happens in the time and temp number three is one of the numbers that wouldn't work uh, one two and three so I'm going to use three so we know we're using the three let me hang the phone up with this keypad loose, okay, it's a little difficult to. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that one more time. Get my dial tone back. This keypad is loose, nothing's together on it. And um, that's the problem. So, our body shop can repair almost any make and model for less. Offenburg, Belleville, two three four zero three three zero. Today is Tuesday, February twenty second. Okay. Well, we know the telephone works now, and um, I'll do some final checks on the telephone and um, do a little more to it but at this point the telephone's repaired and it looks like the only problem with it was one single wire on the keypad board um, and it was probably what you would call the independent ground for the IC chip and uh, for the keypad for the one two and three this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair A1 Electronics 
You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.